there is a perception often held that boating is an expensive elitist sport. My argument has always been they all float on the same stuff, you can boat at any level. So we're coming in today right at entry level. I'm with the lovely Marianne. Hello Marianne. Morning. And, uh, and we're going kayaking. And in this fine Skoda Fabia is an inflatable kayak and another inflatable kayak. That's it, that's all the gear, that's the canal, and we're doing that. And if I look slightly nervous, it's only because I am. I've literally never done this before. You have, haven't you? It's fine, it's anybody fine. could do it. Uh, anybody could do it. You heard it here first. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Just so you know, you're gonna be floating around something that looks like a banana. Hurrah. So one of us has very wisely opted to wear a wetsuit and looking very fetching in it she is too. It's like, like a whale. No, a seal, a seal I think. Fair enough. And, uh, and I'm not. So uh, <laughs> I'm just going to get wet. Anyway, we should probably start with a quick yacht tour. So this is the Inte Intex? Intex Explorer K2. Let's give you a full tour. Sit here, feet here, paddle here. Good, that's done. Um, Right. Oh, and we should also say that we're in uh, Southern Ireland. Whereabouts are we? The Republic of Ireland. Yes. We're in County Leitrim. Yes. This is the Shannon Ern Canal. Uh huh. The Ballinamore Ballyconnell Canal, also called now the Shannon Blue Way. Uh huh. And we are going to paddle around this bend here, uh -huh. under a road, and into St John's Lake. Awesome. This can only go well. Of course. Right. Here we go. <laughs> Um, okay, so we well, need to get in. <laughs> uh, I would suggest bum first. Right. So bottom first, feet sticking out, and then swing your feet in. Oh, so I put my foot right over? Oh, you're long-legged, so yeah, you might get away with that. But that's slick. Here we go. Going in. <laughs> I'm a float, people. Woo! This is okay. alcoholic budget style. <laughs> So here's the thing, I was never planning to go, so I'm just going to go to a cafe. Okay. Have fun. Okay, see you later. Bye. Normally I have a child holding this steady for me. Okay. Nicely done. She's in. Yeehaw. Okay, we are, we are doing it. We are kayaking. This is boating for... Well, I reckon these, we looked these kayaks up, didn't we? We were about 100 quid. Were they 100, 150 quid? Yeah, you can get them for about 80. You can get them down as low as 80, you can get them second hand for even less. So if you want to go boating, there is no excuse. You can do this, you don't even have to put them anywhere. You can just keep them in the back of your car or under your stairs or whatever. And you can do this. Thank you very much, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
compared with a Sunseeker 116 yacht, and that is when it rains. But never mind, we're having a good time. <laughs> I've turned around completely. Let's start going that way again. Oh, crikey, here we go. So one thing I have learned is that strong headwinds and inflatable kayaks do not good bedfellows make. There's rather stunted progress here for a moment, but the, that squall has gone through, and our plan is to make it to the lake. And this is the lake in question. So we're going to get out into here, and then I think we're going to let the wind blow us home again. Yeah, looking good. We've had a few ripples bouncing against the hull. This feels like proper boating now. This is great. I know, I am brave. Often said. Yeah, lots of things are often said. Some of them are true. Okay, so we have very sensibly paddled upstream and upwind, which means that the wind is now doing all the work and we are just drifting. And how lovely is this? How lovely is this, Marianne, on a scale of one to 10? Oh, this is, this is love. On a scale of one to 10? Yeah. This is a 10. Oh no, it's nine and a half. A cup of tea would make it a 10. <laughs> nice Fantastic. cup of tea. Well, I think we've made the point, or we've proved the point, I think we've proved the point that you don't need to be a millionaire to go boating. We're boating. We're boating. And we're having a great time. Blitz. You know, a couple of kayaks that are probably about 100 quid each. If that. There's no excuse, people. Get yourselves out on the water, because it's fantastic. Had long. Paddle on. So tell us, Marianne, why do you love kayaking? I love kayaking because it's so peaceful and quiet. And because you're very close to the land. You can see Ireland from a whole different perspective. You can see how beautiful it is. You can see how peaceful it is. See wildlife that you don't see when you're swaying around in your car. You see red squirrels and kingfishers. When you're kayaking, it never rains. Okay, sometimes it rains, but it's nice rain when you kayak. Look at the corners of Ireland that you can't see from any other place except on the water. That's why I like climbing. Like right now, that little bend and those trees, the way the water is rippling. You can only see if you're right here in your little banana colored kayak, having a bit of a splash. That's why I love climbing. First is, 
don't let anybody tell you that boating is a rich man's sport. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. Secondly, don't let anybody tell you it doesn't rain in Ireland, because it does. Thirdly, it's time for lunch. See you later. Bye-bye.